I uh, thought it was my duty uh, when I heard today on the news and I saw, uh, I have already tweeted on it on my Twitter, uh, a statement by His Excellency President Vikramasinghe that he is apologizing to the public for having appointed Dr. Jampati Vikramasinghe, the President's Council, uh, for the drafting process of the 19th Amendment. Now, as someone who uh, was associated with that process, and who was very closely in connection with that entire process, I thought it was correct that I at least made a statement and said what really happened uh, with uh, whatever uh, respect I can muster for His Excellency the President, who was also my party leader at the last election. I will only say that that is a very incorrect statement and I will stop it there, but clarify as to what happened. No sooner the 2015 Yahapalna government was in place, under His Excellency the then President Maitripala Sirisena and His Excellency Vikramasinghe, as he was Honorable the Prime Minister then, I got a call from uh, Mr. Samanekanayaka, who was also then the Prime Minister's Secretary, asking me to come to Temple Trees uh, to get, take part in this constitutional amendment process. Now, immediately I inquired as to who was on that committee because I was not interested in just going and wasting our time. And I was told it was only five people chaired by, very important, chaired by the Honorable then Prime Minister, His Excellency the present President. And I was told that uh, Niranjan Devaditya, who was in London at the time, former Parliamentary Commissioner Priyani uh, Vijayasekar, or Abhisekar, I think, uh, and Dr. Vikram Ratna was on that committee and all of us constituted only five. And I went uh, for a couple of meetings. But afterwards, when I realized that there were so many other people, particularly the then UNP, all the entire set of the UNP lawyers also coming in for these meetings, I realized that very little actual process was being, uh, progress was being made with the time that we were putting into it. So I, I withdrew from that process. But if anyone challenges it, to date, I have those Excel sheets that we worked on with the particular provisions of the constitution, the emails that we exchanged between each other, particularly with Dr. Vikram Ratna on, on, on discussing various constitutional aspects as to how we could bring about these amendments. But thereafter, once again, although I, I withdrew from that committee for personal reasons, uh, when the matter was being argued in the Supreme Court for its constitutionality, I once again got involved in it and, 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 and we managed to uh, finally send the 19th Amendment for enactment and now it is law. Now, I say it's incorrect to put a caste aspersions on Dr. Victor Nath, the President's Council, where not only in that committee, I have known that man for most of my practicing career, he was a very senior counsel. When I was junior counsel at Mr. Faiz Mustafa's chambers, uh, and we worked together on so many matters, and I hold him with the highest respect. We've learned much from him, particularly in the area of constitutional law. Uh, and therefore, I must correct this record that the clear mandate given by the Yahapal and the government to that committee at the time was not to touch any amendments of the constitution that would impinge upon the, the entrenched provisions, which would lead to a referendum. That was a clear mandate. And, 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 and Dr. Jayampati uh, Vikramatna recently states that publicly in a statement. Uh, in fact, I tweeted that just earlier today, that the mandate was the, of the Ahapana government was don't touch any provisions that would lead to a referendum. We only want you all to amend provisions that will leave a referendum aside because they, that, that, that was the clear, the clear signal given by the government. And that is why at that time those amendments are made without touching Article 83. Because it was very clear that if Article 83 was touched, that would automatically lead to a referendum. So having given such a mandate in a committee where himself as the Honorable Prime Minister was chairing at the time that I, that I was invited, uh, I don't think it's, it's correct to cast aspersions publicly and apologize to the people thereby showing that Dr. Jayampati Vikramath has made a mistake. Uh, and I think as, as someone uh, much junior, but who was involved in that process, it is my duty to correct this. Uh, and that is why I have spoken out. I am Krishmal Varnasuriya.